it's your girl Jalicia and I'm back with a quick video. Now I know I made all those videos yesterday and thank you guys so much for loving the tutorial, the tag, the flat twist and thank you for weighing in on the contest. I really appreciate it and it looks like we're going to have us a viewer's choice, okay? Well, let me not speak too soon. I have waiting for two more people I believe to respond but girl I think we got it. So look, look out for that coming up soon. Now... Jolly Seal, why are you here? <laughs> I'm here because Barbadian261, hey girl, she had made a video saying I don't do a plan B. And I watched it and I meant to weigh in on my two cents, but I forgot to. Really quick, I'm outside shooting. Let me see if I can show you real quick. See all that? This right here is like the blinds that separates me from outside. See? You can see. Pretty much. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so, I was just out here chilling and it's hot, so let's go ahead and get this, this taken care of. And sidebar, if you see any tissue paper here, I will be dabbing, so just let me know. Hey girl, you got tissue, okay? You gon' okay. <laughs> Alright, so I wanted to make the video because in her video she talked about the fact that living the secret and writing it down, making it happen, you focus on what you want, so there's really no reason to make a plan B. And that got me to thinking, because honestly, I do live the secret also. I believe in it with all my heart. I believe in write it down, make it happen. You guys already know, because I've been giving you sort of a series on what I do to try to keep my life on track. But no one's perfect, so I feel like, car, sorry, we're all tight. I feel like it's important to see the people that you listen to, that they're real people, that they have real problems like everyone else, so... I want to go ahead and make this video because my issue, I think I have been focusing on the plan B, C, D, E, all that stuff instead of putting all my 100% zeal into my plan A. And I think that's what's going on. I really think that that has, I don't want to say block my blessings because I definitely don't think so, but I think it has stinted a little of the things that I have written down that I want to see in my immediate future, you know, intermediate future, and, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine years from now. I really feel like maybe that has a problem, so I want to say, girl, when I say you spot the fuel in me, yes, okay, because I didn't think, I didn't think like that, I really didn't, and you're so right, focusing on what you want, and taking it all doubt, all, oh, if this happens, maybe, or if this don't work out, taking that all out your mind allows the universe to focus all your, all their energy into what you do want, and instead of the things that maybe might happen or things like that. Make sense? I hope so. I also want to say, as you know, you know, I'm a stylist, and this week, honestly, has been a challenge for me. Um, I've had customers complaining because... This, I'll just tell you, I have one of my clients that I locked her two-year-old son's hair. He's, we've been doing it for three months now. Now, mind you, he's two, so she don't make him tie his head out at night. She don't make him hardly sit under the dryer good enough. She don't, she, he's two, and he's one of them wild too, so ain't nothing you can do about it, okay? And I get that, so I work with her, and I knew the rough stage may be a little rougher for him because he's two, plus... At two years old, all your hair isn't grown in, all that good stuff, you know, that I'm sure you can figure out. So she's upset at me because three months in, her hair doesn't look like mine or like locks. And I'm trying to explain to her, it's a process. I did My hair didn't look like this overnight. This is like 19, 18 months of locking, you know what I mean? And it kind of got me discouraged, I'm not going to lie, because I'm one of those people, I'm usually a quitter. And I'm going to be totally honest. I'm usually a quitter. If things get too rough... Child, boo, I don't got to deal with it. That's my outlook. But you don't get anywhere in life doing that. And this business venture, me doing lots, all that stuff, is me stepping out and saying, I'm going to stand behind my talent. And her complaining and saying it because she was saying how she feel like she wasted her money. And I want to cuss. You hear me? But I didn't because I understand her frustration because we all know when we expect our hair to look like our locks in two months, three months, four months. And it's not. It's just not. You know, it's starting to shame. And the thing is, guys, his hair is like 65 or maybe 75% locked. Okay. Okay. Car. <laughs> okay. Like, are you kidding me? It's people around here that hair ain't locked. 
lock in the hole, yeah. And you, but. And scene. <laughs> but it, it, it put a little dent in my armor, if you must. And also, I've been having some issues with the salon that I'm working in. I mean, we're going to get it resolved. And I'm going to continue to stay positive. But when you said that and had made that video, it spoke to my heart. It made me get refocused. Like, today I got up and worked out. Okay. I, um, so my Twitter workout grew. Let's get it in. I, um, wrote out exactly how I want my business to be. I didn't leave any room for error. I didn't say, well, if me, no, this is what I want and I'm shooting for it. And I really appreciate you making that video. I'm sure you, you didn't even know who would be watching it, whether they would understand, but I understand. And for me to, I want you to see me say, I really appreciate that video because it spoke to my heart and what I needed to do. For me, my business, my well-being, my future blessings, my partner's blessings, because I feel like positivity em emits around everyone. So, me not feeling down, all my friends that talk to me on the phone, they noticed. Ray definitely knows. Of course, he talked me out, out of it, because honey, shout out to Ray and shout out to Damien from, his, from uh, Damien J4, Damien JW84 on YouTube, you guys know him. They both talked me off the ledge because I tweeted him like, I am about to cuss. And he was like, that sounds like her problem is self influence <laughs> Shout out to you for that. So yeah, I just wanted to make the video and say that you're absolutely right. You need to stay focused on your plan A. Live as if your plan A is your only plan. And there's no plan B because plan B is saying and putting in the universe that you don't believe your plan A gonna work and that is just not the case. So let's all get our plan A's together. Let's write down specifically what we want. I've also learned you have to be specific with the universe. You can't say, uh, I'm gonna just throw out a ridiculous example. You can't say, um, uh, you know, I want to be working be between 6 and 12. No, you need to say, I want to work between 6 and 7. That's the hour. You know what I mean? You have to be specific. You can't just say, I want my mate to be by 5, 7, maybe between 5, 7 and 6, 2. No. If you know you want a man that's over 5, 11, you need to say 5, 11. And it may sound ridiculous, but you need to be very specific about it. So, alright guys. I just wanted to go ahead and pop that in real quick. I'm going to show you what I did to my hair because I changed it a little bit from the style that I did yesterday. It's pretty much still the same, but this is easier for me to manage. So, I'll show you real quick, and that's it. Alright? Thanks so much, Barbadian. I really... I keep calling you Barbarian. That's not your name. Thank you, Miani. I really appreciate you speaking to my spirit and reinforcing my back to go out there and get what I want. And don't take no... Second chances, alright? Okay. So, you guys see the front. It's the same pompadour. I just twisted it forward and flipped it back like the tutorial. The difference is, instead of flat twist on the side, I did a semi-basket weave to the basket weave, if that makes sense. I crisscrossed this hair right here. It's the pins right here. And then let me show you the other side before I go to the back. I really hope you guys can see because it's kind of dark. And I did like a semi basket weave with the pins right here also. Can you see that? Let me know if you can see it. <laughs> and this is the back. I did the same thing. Pompadour. <laughs> Pompadour. Basket weave. Holla at your girl with her little tail. I just put a rubber band right here. I didn't have time flipping and pinning child. So. Okay. So this is like a two fur. Yesterday was one, today was the fur. Two fur. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching, your support, all that good stuff. Alright? Peace out.